Hi guys, I'm Sam Barefoot and welcome to my channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about a brand new feature that has just come out on Instagram with regards to Instagram stories. You can now highlight your stories. I think this is going to be a bit of a game changer. Yeah, let's get to it. I'm Sam Barefoot. Welcome to my channel where I'll show you how to make visibility effortless. Now, I recently did an episode where we talked about beating the Instagram algorithm to boost your engagement. And one of the tips that I give you is to really utilize your Instagram stories because honestly, they are a bit of a superpower if you use them correctly. It's a really phenomenal way of engaging with your audience. And it's one of the little tricks that I used earlier in the year when I started to notice my engagement going, down and it, it's, it completely turned things around. So the fact that you can now highlight your stories permanently, permanently on your feed, I like that. I really, really like that because a lot of, you know, a lot of people have, you know, reached out to me, spoken to me about Instagram stories. I have an Instagram stories challenge. So if you don't know how to use them, um, I'm gonna walk you through all of that kind of stuff. And there's a, yeah, I'll put the link below. But um, a lot of people come back and go, yeah, but they only last 24 hours. And I know for myself that I put a lot of info on my Instagram stories and because they only last 24 hours, it's something that you have to do, you have to duck in and do every day. And don't get me wrong, you know, spending a few minutes each and every day on my business, you know, the, the, the kickback that I get from all of that is phenomenal. So it's not a waste of time, but there are times that you, and you can't schedule Instagram stories. That's the thing, right? So you can't schedule them. They are a very manual process, but like I say, they're powerful. And a lot of people say, yeah, but they haven't last 24 hours, what I keep doing it. And you know, I do have to keep going in and loading up my, whatever it is that I'm talking to you about, whether it is just jumping on that camera and talking, you know, for a few seconds, a couple of minutes or whatever it looks like, or whether it's actually loading up one of my pre-made videos, maybe a trailer for YouTube, you know, maybe one of my opt-ins, whatever it is, it has to be done on a manual basis. So the fact that we can now highlight them on our actual profile, I think that's a bit of a game changer. Um, and I really think that Instagram are starting to understand what their users actually want so I'm gonna throw you in a little tutorial you know I love this kind of stuff and I love helping you figuring this stuff out so I've literally I've just thrown you a few you know a few pointers on how to actually do this so you can see what how to do this and what it looks like um, I'm pretty certain it's all rolled out to everybody now so if it hasn't it's coming I promise um, ironically my bigger account was the last account to get it out of all of mine but all of mine do have them now so um, I'm gonna duck in right now and just walk you through a quick tutorial on how to do this and then I'll talk you through a little bit more how I think you can utilize these the best okay so let me walk you through this this is on the home page and as you can see here let me just open it up show highlights story highlights this is what we're going to be talking about now it's going to give you a few different options now the way that you can add um, your stories to this your highlighted stories you click the plus sign it's going to give you some options of the various I've not done a, a huge amount over the weekend it's been kind of busy as you can see Christmas snow all that good stuff um, and you highlight the bits and pieces that you want so for example if we highlight the Christmas tree and we highlight it snowing um, then you can click next and um, you want to name it so I'm going to literally call this Christmas uh, da, da, da. done you can edit the cover photo if you want to and now Christmas sits on my highlighted stories so that is how you would select a story that you've already done and bring it into the highlighted area now as you can see you can add more than one so if I wanted to use this one for example this is my YouTube blue pile let's go next so I'm going to put um, latest YouTube episode oops Oh, okay. And that'll do. Latest YouTube's call. Cool. Okay, that's all right. Um, and click done. Then as you can see, I have an extra one there. So that is exactly how you add a story to your highlights. Okay, so now you've had a little bit of a walkthrough on how you actually attach or highlight one of your stories on your main feed, you'll see that there's, a, there's an array of different options there. And, and I kind of tested this just before I did this, this video here, on how many highlights you can put in. And I got to like six and it was still letting me do more. However, um, what I have noticed is if you give people too much choice, you're going to kind of lose them. 
And this is similar if you use the Linktree app in Instagram in your profile so that you have the ability to give people various clickable options on your profile. Same thing here, right? So I like to say if you use that, if you use that Linktree app, which is great, I use it, um, then I don't like to give them any more than five options, okay? Because if you give people too much choice, they're gonna go, oh my God, oh my God, what have I got to press? And they won't press anything, right? That's not what you want. That really isn't what you want. Um, and I think this is gonna be the same. And looking at it, looking at it on the phone, it looks like, for, certainly on my phone, um, it looks like you can have your circle with the plus sign to add a new highlight, and then three within that field without someone having to scroll, okay? And I think we need to stick to that, just purely because you don't wanna give them too much choice, okay? So I think that the three areas that you should be highlighting, without a doubt, is you should be using one of those those highlights to introduce yourself, okay? Now, the reason I say this is part of the flow on how people find you on Instagram, they will end up at your profile. So new people that don't know who you are will end up looking at your profile if they are of, are of interest in what you do. So having a little one that, one of the highlights that introduces yourself, you're saying, hi, this is what I do, I'd love for you to let me know what you do, you know, anything, whatever it is, drop me a DM, check out my link, go and, you know, go and comment on the most favorite picture that you, whatever it is, introduce yourself because that know, like, and trust starts with building some amazing rapport with the people that pass your profile. Point number one, right there. The second highlight I would suggest you do is whatever you are promoting right now. So most of my stuff, and as you can see that I did on the demo is my YouTube episodes, right? So I'm driving most of my traffic, if not all of my traffic right now to my YouTube channel because that's what I'm building. That's the area of business that I'm focusing on right now. So I would put one of your highlights as whatever it is that you are promoting, whether you're promoting your Facebook group, whether you're promoting a freebie, whether you're promoting your YouTube channel, whether you're promoting something for sale, maybe you've got a product on offer, whatever it is, I would use that highlight one to promote that. I would gather two, maybe three clips. I really wouldn't give them a huge amount of choice, okay? You want this short, sharp, snappy, give them as much information as you can in a relatively short space of time. And I think that's really gonna help you just to keep your most active things, the things that you want maximum eyes on, right there in the highlights. So that is what I would use that space number two for, checking out your sales, checking out your links, your opt-ins, whatever it is that you're promoting right now. And the third one, the third one I think actually should be something of a personality showcase. So I think for you guys, it should be something fun, quirky, maybe your blooper of the week, maybe the message of the week that you want to put out, maybe you have, I don't know, an inspirational meme of the week that you want to kind of share, whatever that looks like. I would go for that. And the reason I'm saying that is because I don't want people to start using this highlight reel as just like a promo reel because people aren't gonna come back and watch them, okay? You don't wanna just like sell, 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 sell because that's not how you sell. Like, that's not how you sell. People buy people. So you need to get them to know, like, know, trust, all of that. It's probably in the wrong way, whatever. Um, and to do that, you need to showcase your personality. You need to get them to know like, you know, to, to know who you are um, and all that crazy stuff. So that is kind of what I would use and that's what I am gonna use, this new highlights reel on my profile on Instagram stories. I, honestly, I, I really do think it's gonna be a huge game changer. I'm gonna run some stats and stuff like that. So, um, and I love doing, I'm a bit, a bit, I'm a bit of a geek. Uh, numbers geek and for those of you that don't know and you probably don't know because I haven't told you yet on this channel um, I actually have like a 20 year career in finance so I'm a complete numbers girl um, so I'm gonna run some stats and stuff and maybe I'll come back in a little while and let you guys know how I get on with that and what that looks like and how that kind of impacts my business and traffic and all that kind of stuff but for me definitely gonna be utilizing the new highlights uh, stories highlights on the profile um, it's yeah, it's super cool, and and you can go back into the archive. The other thing they've added is um, they're now archiving all your stories in the in the archive section. So where you could archive your post before, um, and if you're not sure on the profile, there's a little half timer type thing. 
um, yeah, there. Um, there's now a drop down so you can select between posts archive or stories archive. So if you want to dive back in and go and have a look at some of the stuff you've already done, you think, oh, I did a really, really good story there, but oh, I've missed it. You haven't missed it. It's going to be in your archive and you can actually go in and get it there too. So yeah, absolutely loving these two little features, this new feature. Um, I think the highlights are really, really going to be powerful for some of you guys that are utilizing Instagram right now. And I know there's a lot of you because I'm helping a lot of you. So yeah, I think it's going to be good. So as I mentioned before, if you are struggling with your Instagram stories, please do take my six day Instagram stories challenge. I'll take you from zero to hero in just six days. I'm going to walk you through how to use it, how to use it confidently, how to use it for business, how to draw traffic, how to drive traffic, how to do call to action, how to make some really slick images there. Honestly, if you're struggling, this is going to help you. I've had hundreds and hundreds of people go through this challenge and they all come back to me and say, Sam, you've made it so simple. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. So six days, IG stories challenge, link is below, go get that one. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Genuinely, genuinely do appreciate it. Give me a like, give me a comment. I'd love to know, are you gonna use the stories highlights, the new feature? If so, are you gonna use them in a similar way to what I'm suggesting? Or have you got your own little crazy idea that you think your audience are gonna love? I'd love for you to share it so that we can all learn from everybody's inspiration. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. There is that little bell thing next to it and that makes sure that you get each and every video that I pop out because I really wouldn't want you to miss a thing, a single, single thing. I'm here every Wednesday at 8 p.m. I'll see you next week. Now, I recently did an episode about beating the Instagram algorithm. The did there. First one out of the box, I'm already f***ing it up. I'm here each and every week on a Wednesday, new videos out at 8 p.m.